the Governmental Affairs for the Toledo Lucas County Public Library. So before we begin our program, I want to tell you a little bit about how this all came about. So we have Mr. Richard Cordray to thank for this particular event. He is active on Twitter. I know you guys probably use social media. And so he tweeted out something really, really dynamic. He has a special library tie that he often wears. And he tweeted out something so special about Ohio public libraries. Half of our funding comes from the state. So we were so amazed by that tweet. It was so positive about all the things that public libraries do. Especially the metro libraries, Cuyahoga and Columbus and Dayton and Akron and Toledo. And we said, oh my goodness, let's push like on that because we thought that was fantastic. And then about 10 minutes later, Chris Varwig, who wears two hats with TPS and with the library, she said, Wanda, guess what? Mr. Cordray just kind of issued a little bit of a challenge. And that challenge was to talk oops, <laughs> to talk about, to talk about um, really Ohio Jeopardy and Ohio facts. We are proud Ohioans. We live in a great, wonderful state. And so Chris and I start talking, and Chris said, you know, Rhonda, we've been trying to get Mr. Cordray to the library to see what we do. Why don't we issue a challenge to him? And of course, we <laughs> picked one of the greatest partners that we have is TPS. And so we reached out to TPS and said, what school would be dynamic to compete against Mr. Richard Cordray 1977 Ohio Quiz Bowl champion. <laughs> and five-time Jeopardy winner. And they said none other than Toledo Early College. So give yourselves a round of applause. We have a few remarks from some special people. I will be bringing them up to speak um, today. And the first person you're going to hear about is one of the greatest directors in the state of Ohio. That's, that's not going to be one of your questions. It's <laughs> Clyde Scholes, director of the Toledo Public School. Uh, I was going to say Toledo Public School. He's taking your job, uh, Dr. Grant. Toledo oh, Lucas County Public Library. He's going to give the official welcome. Thank you, Mr. Scholes. We're delighted, we're delighted that you're here. We're delighted that the former Attorney General and the Women's Power Guest candidate for the Office of Governor is here. And uh, we think this is going to be an exciting uh, game. I have to remember that, uh, I don't remember actually being on Jeopardy until I saw the YouTube. I have to admit that I did not see that program. I understand you won many times. It's all preserved. So, <laughs> so uh, again, we're excited you're here. We're excited that you're all here in the library. And uh, we're excited to hear and listen to what happens here in the game. So good luck. Thank you, Mr. Scholes. And next we have the executive director of the Ohio Library Council, Mr. Doug Evans, who traveled all the way from Columbus to be with us to give remarks. Thank you, Doug, for being here. Thank you, Rhonda. Appreciate it. Good morning, everyone. It's an honor to be here. Cordray students, uh, best of luck in today's challenge. But it's you, not me. <laughs> tough crowd. I'm wishing it were you and not me. <laughs> yeah. um, I want to take a moment to uh, uh, echo Rhonda's remarks about the great public libraries here in the state of Ohio. Uh, it's well known uh, back, honestly, around the country that we have some of the best public libraries here in the state of Ohio. Uh, they've said that the uh, answer to any question you have. You can find on the internet and you can find 100,000 answers to every single question. But I think it's only in the public library you'll find the right answer. And you can find it in the databases and the books and you can find entertainment, career development, literacy, knowledge in a variety of sources around the library. But if you look around here and you see library staffs, that's where you see the real answers. And we want to applaud those members of the uh, Toledo-Lucas County Library staff and the staffs around the uh, state. As a matter of fact, 
your running mate, uh, Betty Sutton, her mother, I believe, served as a librarian at Barberton. So uh, that's a, a little known fact. So, um, but I'd be, uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't uh, follow today's theme, if you may. I'm going to take Ohio's Public Libraries for 500. <laughs> a few facts about Ohio's Public Libraries. And I get notes to refer to. You probably don't. Uh, Ohio's Public Libraries. They have 8.4 million card holders around the state. They circulate, stream, or download 71, or they 191 million pieces of literature, entertainment, knowledge throughout every year. They have 71 million visits just to the libraries around the state. And they have at their disposal career development opportunities for anyone now through lynda.com in every single library around the state. And one last fact, today's daily double. <laughs> the fact that for every $1 invested in Ohio's public libraries, the public money that goes into public libraries here in the state, more than $5 is returned to Ohio's economy. And for those of you doing the math, that's about $2.7 billion every year. It's a boost to Ohio's economy. So when you think about Ohio's public libraries, we are tremendously fortunate to have the state and local support of our public libraries. But that support has gone down over the years, dropped about 25% since early 2000. And that's why the Ohio Library Council, our members like the Toledo Lucas Public County Library, will be going to the state legislature and working with the new administration next year to restore that funding. So, we've got a job ahead of us. You've got a job ahead of you. So good luck, best wishes, thank you very much. Thank you. That was pretty clever, I have to admit that. Very clever. And next, um, I will introduce some of the wonderful people in the audience, but first I wanna bring up, I think, the best superintendent, not just in Ohio, but in the entire country. We know we have a treasure with one of our greatest partners, the Toledo Public School Superintendent, Dr. Romulus Dumay. Again, I just want to take a short second to welcome everyone out. Appreciation to Mr. Cordray coming out and putting together a great challenge for one of the two greatest institutions for education one the library and two the school system and so to be able to see that square off in a friendly competition to do it no greater place than the library is an excitement uh, again I want to point out the principal mrs berman she's the principal of twitter early college she brought a student. and thank you for our board representation to help to establish schools such as twitter early college as well as many other magnet schools to show there are very opportunities in public education and these are representation of just one of them so again Thank you for being Ohio proud. We're Toledo proud and keep you that proud. Thank you for being Ohio. Again, we consider our Toledo Lucas County Public Library a school outside of the school. And I'm happy to bring to the, the stage, I should say, Stephanie Eichenberg, who is the president of the Toledo Board of Education, School Board of Education. Thank you for being here. I'm not. Because you're the vice president of the Board of Education. That's right. I promote people. Thank you for that promotion. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to especially thank the library, um, Mr. Schools and Ms. Sewell, um, and also Nick Needs put together all of the wonderful uh, trivia that you are about to demonstrate your vast knowledge with. And as well, we have um, uh, Aaron Thomas, who is our director of the Kent Ranch Library. Um, for hosting our students. Um, Mr. Cordray, thank you so much for putting the challenge out there. It's important that our young people see that people who want to be their leaders and want to help govern them are also ready to engage with them. Um, and as a person who started my young working life, my first job was at the Toledo Lucas County Public Library, Heather Ann's Branch, get oh, yeah. um, <laughs> You know, it's wonderful to see the library coming together with Toledo Public Schools where I, you know, sort of ended up in my first public service experience. Um, and I will warn you, I have a student at Toledo Early College, just my first year. These 
students have been through um, you know, Mrs. Coffee's homework, and they are battle-hardened academic warriors. So, <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to put that out there and wish you the best of luck. <laughs> several people in the audience that I just want to um, recognize. We have our board, library board of trustee members, Jesus Salas and Sue Savage. We also have one of the greatest deputy directors in the state of Ohio, Jason Kuchma. And we want to thank our outreach um, staff. They brought what's called our Mobile Technology Center. It's a cybermobile that goes out into the community. Isha Hearn is here and her staff. Thank you so much. We want to give a special, special um, just note of thanks to our Youth Services Department who helped put this together, this wonderful quiz show on together and also came up with some of the questioning that you will be doing and that's led by Nancy Eads. <laughs> we have a dynamic staff at the Toledo Lucas County Public Library. I want to recognize our hard-working marketing department led by Terry Carroll and also Heather Hoffman. <laughs> Susan Sotowski from Branch Services. Aaron Thomas, who is the new manager of the Kent Branch Library. Thank you. Our new events coordinator and volunteer coordinator. I told you I give people promotions. But volunteer coordinator, Chris Barwick, who wears two hats. Our manager of community initiatives and partnerships. Dynamic mother daughter duo in the state of Ohio. <laughs> That's not the trivia question. Celeste Taylor, who manages our South Branch uh, Library and has done just amazing things in that community, being bilingual and really connecting with the people there. Thank you so much. And her wonderful daughter, who works here at the Kent Branch Library, Cynthia Arias. <laughs> Any other people from the library, blame it on my head, not my heart. So now that we have everyone, oh, we have the husband of the library trustee, Mr. <laughs> and our wonderful security team, led by Jeff Sable, I want to just um, recognize them. We thank all of you for being here today. Um, one of the fun things that we're going to do, many of you maybe didn't look on YouTube as our director did, to see, I think 1987, you were on Jeopardy! Five-time champion. Yeah. Wow. So we have a little bit of a, um, oh, a video here <laughs> that we'd like to show all of you here. Um, just to set it up here. Back we, when I was in my prime. Yeah, we did, we did some digging. We did some digging. So we just want to show you a little clip back there, students. Look at what you have to uh, contend with here. <laughs>
to introduce also Nancy Eames. She will be Alex Trebek today. <laughs> And we're ready to start yes, playing? Yes, okay. we are. Alright, so, I'll, um, I'll explain a few rules. Mm -hmm. Rhonda will introduce our contestants, and then we will get started. So we have teams of two for our students. Richard Cordray, you're playing by yourself. Um, Cut through, Kevin. Everyone has a buzzer, and your buzzers all sound different, so let's do a buzzer test, starting with Nolan and John David. Richard Cordray. And Susie and Brendan. <laughs> so, because we're not as high tech as Jeopardy, um, it's possible you all will hit your buzzers at exactly the same moment. So, Aaron Thomas and Susan Skatowski are going to help me judge who went first. And we'll make a call, and you can't fight us. Um, <laughs> but we'll try to be fair. If we make that call multiple times, we'll switch it around uh, and, and give everybody a chance to be first. They'll be keeping score on the scoreboard. As you earn points, um, we'll list them up there. If you make a wrong guess, you will lose points. Um, there is no daily double, and we're only playing one round to a final jeopardy. Does anyone have any questions before we get started? Do we have to answer in the form of a question? Yes. Please answer in the form of a question. And remember, everything is about Ohio. All right, Rhonda, go ahead and introduce right. our contestants. Thank you. All right, to my left, we have Nolan Kramer. Nolan is 18 years old, a senior at Toledo Early College. This year, he's the captain of the TEC Quiz Bowl team. This May, he will graduate with an associate's degree in communications from the University of Toledo already. Congratulations, Nolan. He hopes to attend the E.W. Scripps School of Journalism at Ohio University next fall. And in his free time, he enjoys playing disc golf and exploring Northwest Ohio. Round of applause. We have John David Hype. He's a 16-year-old sophomore at Toledo Early College. He plans to pursue a job in pharmaceutical sales after obtaining his pharmacy degree from Ohio Northern University. He recently completed a medical internship this summer for ProMedical's Toledo Hospital and working in the pharmaceutical and surgical fields. Okay. First, you know, Richard Cordray, he's a 1977 Ohio Quiz Bowl champion, five-time Jeopardy winner, and I understand you made the first round of, in the Tournament of Champions as well. So congratulations, Ohio politician. We are so honored to have you here with us today. Cola, freshman who wants to be an international diplomat. Watch out, Mr. Cordray. <laughs> Her pets are named after presidents and first ladies. Her favorite book series is Anne of Green Gables. And Brendan Belcher, he's a freshman and he has a passion for culinary arts and he makes a wicked mac and cheese dish. I have to talk to you after this is over. So let's all welcome our contestants. All right, as our returning champion, Richard Cordray, you will choose first. Today's categories are Halls of Fame, Music, Women of Ohio, Ohio Authors, and City Nicknames. I'll take Ohio authors for a thousand. Oh. <laughs> a Dayton poet, famous for his use of dialect. Who is Paul Lawrence Dunbar? You are correct. <laughs> Ohio authors for 800. Among the Hidden, one of the ten most taught texts in American schools, was written by this Ohioan. No guesses? Who is Margaret Peterson Haddix? Stop this. <laughs> Richard, you choose again. Ohio authors for 600. The real Carolyn Keene. <laughs> Who is Nancy Drew? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Another guess? Who is Mildred Benson? From Toledo. From Toledo, Ohio. <laughs> 
Ohio authors for 400. The author of Uncle Tom's Cabin. <laughs> Who is Stowe? That is correct. Who is Harriet Beecher Stowe? And for 200. He gave us goosebumps. Who is R.L. Stein? That is correct. All right. Susie and Brendan, you pick the next one. Um, can I have music for 200? Ohio's official rock song. Richard. What is Hang On Sloopy? <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> you choose the next one. I'll take uh, city nicknames for a thousand. The rubber capital. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know who buzzed in first. John David and Nolan? Yes. 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 What is it? <laughs> that is correct. You choose next. Uh, city nicknames for eight, please. Five city. All right, Nolan and Jeff, John what, David. What is Findlay? That is correct. Uh, can we take city nicknames for six? Roller coaster capital. Mr. What Cordial. is Sandusky? That is correct. City nicknames for 400. The walleye capital of the world. What is Toledo? That is incorrect. Nolan and John David. What is Port Clinton? That is correct. City nicknames for two. The glass capital of the world. <laughs> John David Nolan. That is correct. Uh, music for four, please. The Toledo Jazz Pianist. Who's our tail? That is correct. Music for six. Ohioan Brian Warner is better known by his hard rocking and controversial stage persona. No guesses. Who is Marilyn Manson? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nolan and John David, back to you. Music for eight. Fast Car sped up the charts to become a hit for this Cleveland born singer songwriter. Richard. Who is Tracy Chapman? That is correct. I'll take Women of Ohio for a thousand. The First Lady of American Cinema. Uh, Nolan and John David? Who's Doris Day? No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. <laughs> Richard? Who is Helen Hayes? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. <laughs> Susie and Brendan, do you have a guess? No. No? All right. <laughs> the answer is, who is Lillian Gish? Uh, <laughs> Women of Ohio for 800. The founder of Ms. Magazine. Richard? Who is Gloria Steinem? That is correct. Ohio for 600. <coughs> this Toledo win was the first African American woman pharmacist in the U.S. Who is L.P. Stewart? That is correct. Can we take uh, Ohio women for four? Author of Beloved and the Bluest Eye. No Who's Toy Morrison? That is correct. Woman for 200. The famous American sharpshooter. Richard. Who is Annie Oakley? That is correct. Halls of Fame for a thousand. Gustav Mahler and George Gershwin are inductees of the Cincinnati Hall of Fame. I feel like I should go pee pee. <laughs> what is the American Classical Music Hall of Fame? Choose again. Halls of Fame for 800. Racing on two wheels is celebrated at this Pickerington Museum. Richard. What is the Go-Kart Museum? No, that's incorrect. Your guesses? What is the Bicycle Museum? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. <laughs> the correct answer is what is the Motorcycle Hall of Fame? Oh. <laughs> All right, Richard, you pick again. Halls of Fame for 600. 
All inductees have played in the AFL or NFL during their careers. <laughs> Richard. Pro Football Hall of Fame. What is the Pro Football Hall of Fame? That is correct. Music for a thousand. The gospel influence Twist and Shout was one of the many top 20 hits for these talented brothers. Uh, Nolan and John David? Who are the Isley brothers? That is correct. Yeah. Let's do Halls of Fame for 400. Neil Armstrong and the Wright brothers are inductees of the Staten Museum. Richard? What is the Museum of Flight? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Uh, what is the Aviation Museum? I'll accept that the National Aviation Hall of Fame. And the last question, Halls of Fame for 200. All-star concerts rock this museum on Cleveland Shore. What is the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? That is correct. <laughs> All right, so we're ready for final Jeopardy. <laughs> and you should each have uh, a couple pieces of paper on your table. Richard, it looks like yours might have disappeared, so I'm going to grab you some more. Okay, so I'd like you to look at the category and make your wager. Our category is Ohio history. And you can just turn your paper over and then use the other paper to write your answer, or I'm sorry, write your question <laughs> to this clue. Chillicothe, Columbus, and Zanesville have this in common. What did you wager? $999. And your answer? Uh, nice question. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's incorrect. So easy. In second place with uh, 1,600 points, Richard Cordray, what did you wager? 1,600. <laughs> and your answer? What is a capital of Ohio? That is correct. Ooh. That moves you up to? 3,200. They made a very good move. <laughs> 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 Suzanne Brendan, what did you wager? 600. 600. And your answer? Wrong. <laughs> what is the Y bridge? I just thought that's also incorrect. What are Ohio Capitals was the correct answer. And I want to congratulate all of you. Our winner at 3,201 <laughs> point is <laughs> Nolan and John David. <laughs> Second place with 3,200, Richard Cordray, and third place, Susie and Brandon. <laughs> I would have that for a little bit. <laughs>